Hey there, today I'm going to show you how to draw Hog Rider from Clash of Clans. So let's start with the eyes. So on the left side here, I'm just going to draw the top of the eye first. So starting on the left side, draw a curve that kind of goes up and down to the front of the eye. From here I'm just going to connect these two points with a deep curve along the bottom. And that's for the bottom of his eye. Let's go up to the eyebrow. So just up above the eye on the left, I'm just going to put a point here. From this point, I just want to draw a curve that connects to the front of the eye, and then I'm going to curve up towards the middle of the head. From here, I'm just going to come up with a slight curve on the top, and then I'm going to come down towards the front of that eyebrow and leave a little bit of an overlap for the frown line. Let's move over to the right side. So I'm going to draw the top of the eye on this side first, just like I did on the left. I'm going to connect those two points with a curve along the bottom. And then again, I'm going to come out from here to the outside, to the outside of his eyebrow. I'll come up with a curve, I'll come over here, and I'll draw a mirrored version of this line here. And then I'm going to connect it with an overlap and just meet up with that line there. Let's draw the pupils. So I'm going to have them looking straight at you. So on the top left side of this eye, I'll draw a round circle. And then I'll draw a smaller dot in the center like that. Then here, I'm going to draw another circle for the pupil and a smaller dot right there. And it kind of looks like he's looking more towards the left, but that's okay. Uh, let's go to the front of the nose. So from here, from where the eyebrow meets the eye, I'm going to start there and curve out. And from here, I'm going to go the reverse way and just draw the bottom of the nose. So he's got a very stubby nose. You don't want to go too low. And from here, I'm just going to draw like a C shape on one side and then a reverse C on the other side of the nose. From here, I'm going to move down to the mouth. So starting on the line where the nose is, I'll put a point here. I'll go to the other side here, and I'll put a point there. I'm going to connect those two points with a curve that goes up. Now on this side here on the left, I'm going to curve down. I'll do the same thing, but I'm going to come in a little bit on the right side and draw the same curve. Now from here, I'm just going to connect those two points with a curve that comes out. Let's draw the top row of teeth. So up here, I'm just going to follow that upper mouth curve, just about, not towards the end, but a little bit short of that, and just go straight up. On the bottom, I'll start in this corner here, and I'll do a slight upward curve, and then come down. And then back here, just below the teeth, I'm just going to draw one curve, not connecting here, do an overlap, and come down. So that's for the tongue. And just below this mouth, I will draw a slight upward curve. Okay, from here, I'm just going to move up to the front of the face. So I like doing the profile edge of the face first before getting to the rest of the head. So here, where the eye is, I'm just going to draw an outward straight line just below that eyebrow. And then from here, I'm going to go out towards the cheekbone. And from here, I'm just going to swoop down towards the beard. So I might have to extend this a little bit, but this is the lower part of the chin. So yeah, I might have to go a little bit more. From here, I'm just going to locate with my finger where the other side of the chin would be. So right there, I'll draw a little point and draw a curve to connect them to. And then I'll draw a bit of the beard. So from the nose, this part of the nose, I'm going to draw a straight line out. I'm going to curve down a little bit. And then from here, I'm just going to connect with that cheekbone just like that, with a sharp line. Here I'll do the same thing. So just below that nose, I'll come out with a slight curve. I'll come down around the side of the mouth. And then right about here is where I'll probably put the ear. So let's draw a curve like this towards that point. And I'll connect these two points with an outward curve. So let's get into the ear. So here I'm just going to draw, I'm going to come up a little bit above that, ear, uh, that beard line. I'll draw a curve like this. But I'm going to stop short here because I want to put an earring in there. So I'll come up, do an overlap, and do like a C shape that connects into that beard. From here I'll go back to that same starting point and draw a curve like that, kind of like a moon. And then just above here I'm just going to draw a little bit of a swoop just for some ear detail. Let's go back to the front of the head again. So if his head were about this high, he's got his mohawk, so I'm going to put a point just right of center, and then I'm going to connect it with a curve for his forehead down to that point there. And at the front here, I'm just going to draw sort of like an intersection, so like a line straight down. This is the front of his mohawk. And from here, I'm just going to draw two evenly length lines coming out, and then straight down. So this is sort of like a square, or like more like a rectangle. From here, I'm going to come out with a, a curve, 
and I'll connect that curve to the top of the mohawk. So up here, now I can take that point and connect it with that ear, with a curve. So, coming up. Alright, let's draw a little bit of the outside ear. So I'm just going to draw a little bit of a hoop here at the same height as the other ear here. Alright, from now I'm going to start getting to the body, but I'm going to have to draw his hands first because the hands are in front of his body. So it'll be easier once I get the hands in, then I can just fill in the rest behind that. So let's go down here on this side. I'm going to draw the hand holding his hammer. So right about here, so if his shoulders came down, both hands would be sort of around this area here. So let's start on this side. I'm going to draw a curve, an upward curve, just like that. From here, I'm going to loop around for one finger. And I'm going to start doing an overlap. Two, three. All right. Now from here, I can actually continue this line all the way around that thumb line, just like that. Now I want to leave enough space here for his hammer. So here, I'm going to draw a line straight up. Straight up. Now if I imagine this line coming down, I want to come down for just the butt end of the hammer. From here I can do a curve. I'll come out a little bit on both sides and come straight down. This is just for the bottom end of the, the hammer. And I'll do another curve right here. Let's do the top of the hammer. So I'm going to draw a big block in the front. So it's going to be facing that way. So from here I'm going to draw the bottom edge of the, the hammer. And then I'm going to go straight up. And I'm going to go straight up on both sides of equal length and go across. So this is basically an upright rectangle. Now because it's in perspective, I'm going to find my middle point and then I'm just going to come over a little bit and put a dot. Now from that dot, I just want to connect the four corners of this rectangle. Just like so. So it kind of looks like it's pointing that way. Now from this corner, I'm just going to go across but slightly up in an upright uh, in an angle pointing up. And then on this side, I'm going to do the opposite, so an angle pointing down. I'll connect those two lines with a line. And then here, I'm just going to draw a line along the edge just for a little bit of detail. And if you want, you can draw some rivets. So he's got some rivets on top and bottom. Right? And then here, I'm just going to draw a swoop just for a little bit of detail along the hammer. Now that we have that, I can start putting in the back arm behind it. So on, behind this hand, he actually has a big wristband. So I'll start about here and draw a big curve around that hand. I can always come back around the front. Imagine this line going behind that hammer to the front. And from here, I'm going to connect it to his shoulders. So his shoulders are pretty high up. So if I imagine this line kind of curving down around his elbow, I'll come up. Tuck that in behind that ear, kind of like that. And then here, I'm going to go towards the wristband and draw a curve behind that hammer. This is for the forearm, then he's got his bicep. So here, I'm just going to go halfway up that forearm, just draw a curve. Actually, I'm going to go all the way up, just like that. Let's go to the other arm. So here, he's holding the straps for his hog. So I will draw, kind of like what I did here, the top edge of his hand first. I'll draw his first finger with a curve and just draw a series of overlaps, just like this. And again, I'm gonna come all the way around with the hand like that, and just kind of leave a gap here. This is where the strap will go. I don't know exactly where my pig's head's gonna be, here, 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 but before I draw the strap, I'm gonna draw the, the hog's head first. But let's get back into the hand. Here I'm gonna draw what I did here, so the wristband. So it kind of comes around, so I'll start probably around here, go wide, and tuck it back behind that hand. Draw the shoulders, actually, yeah, so the shoulders, about this same height here. So I'm gonna come down about this height. So this is where the forearm is. This is where my forearm will be on this side. So I'm gonna curve out again and kind of tuck it back behind that wrist. Let's go to the front of the wrist, of uh, the forearm. So I'll start about here. I'm just gonna curve in, leaving a gap here. And then from here, I'll do an overlap and I'll do the bicep area. Now we can draw in the chest, so the chest, basically two humps for the chest, so start right about here, I'll come down in a curve, and I'll go around to the middle, and I'll draw a straight line up the middle. Go, I'll put my finger where I kind of think the chest will end, so right about here, just like that. And now I can go in and finish off that forearm, or that bicep. Here, I'm going to come in right around the point of this chest and draw a curve that goes all the way across into where the bicep and the forearm meets on the side. 
And it probably would look better if I finish that chest off just like that. Let's go on this side here, come straight down. We'll go up here and come straight down. This is for his belt. And I'll connect those two points with a curve. All right, so we got the upper part of the body down. Let's get into the pig. So I probably want to draw the pig's face first because that's in front of basically everything. So the body, the legs, and the strap. So I'm going to go here and maybe put the hog's head top right about here. So I'll draw a curve for the top of the head. From here, I'm going to flare out two curves just for the ears. And from this point, I'm just going to come in and just kind of kick it back in. So a little sharper as I come in towards the head. And this side, I'll do the exact same thing. And inside here, I'm just going to draw a curve on both sides, just to show a little bit of detail. And on this side here, I'm going to curve a line out for the, the forehead of the, the hog and come in just a little bit for the eye. From here, I'm going to do an overlap and curve out. Now, this is where the nose would be roughly. I'll put the eye at the same level as this side here. So here, I'm just going to draw a curve like that. Now, I have this curve here. I want to duplicate that on this side, just like this. So this curve matches this curve here. Let's go ahead and do an overlap and draw the eye, the bottom of the eye. I'm going to draw an eye bag, that'll look cool. And then here I'm just going to draw a little tiny beady pupil. And here I'm just going to draw an oval for the nose, very simple nose. So starting at this point, I'm going to try to get a nice big oval, just kind of like that. And then I'll draw a wrinkle line on top of the nose. And here I can just draw two sort of stretched out circles and color those in black. Now we're going to draw the tusk. So here I'm going to draw a curve. So this is where the, the tusk will go around the mouth. And then from here I'm just going to draw a sharp turn up. From this point I'm going to curve down and connect it with where I started. And here I can just draw a little detail like that. Draw a point on this side, so coming up from the nose. And we'll tuck that in behind the nose. And here, I'm just going to draw the bottom of the lip. Right, so then go, let's go back to the side of the face. So just below this ear, I'm going to do an overlap and curve around towards that tusk. So this is the side of the, the face. And then I'm going to double that line up and then taper in as I get down towards the bottom. This is for the strap. And then I'm going to draw this line. I'm going to continue up behind that ear and kind of do this. So it kind of looks like the strap is around the hog's head. Now I can go in and finish this strap around his hand. So starting here, I'll probably want to kind of go like this, sort of like a little S. And from here, I'll follow that same line, just like so. And if this strap comes down behind his head, it'll come down on both sides and probably just tuck in behind that head. Now let's get into the legs. So here, I'm going to probably draw, it's got like a loincloth that kind of comes around. So I'm just going to draw this curve first. Let's draw the, 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 uh, the thigh. So here, I'm just going to come around and curve around just like that. I think my legs are going to be a little bit small, but that's okay. I'm going to come around here the bottom of the foot with a, with a backward C. Here, I'm going to come out with a curve. Now, he, at this point here, I'm going to probably want to do the front ball of his foot. Now I can start drawing in his toes. So I'm just going to draw a very simple toes. So one, two, three, four. I'm only giving him four toes. From here, I'm just going to draw a strap for a sandal. So i got two lines like that. Let's draw a little knee detail, so just a little curve like this. So, and then from this point, I'm just going to go straight across and finish off the loincloth. Here, I'm probably just going to show a little bit of leg coming on the other side. Now, let's get into the front of the pig. So, pig's about, I don't know, this big. He's quite small. So I'll draw, from this point, I'll draw a curve out. And from the back, I'll draw a curve, and it's kind of tapers in towards each other. In the back here, I'm just going to draw the heel, curve around, and then draw one separation for the toe. I'll come up a little bit, and then I'll just kind of finish off the toe like that. Up here, I'm going to draw a curve that goes in towards the head. And then back here, I'm just going to draw exactly what I have here. So a curve, lying down, curve along the bottom, come up. Do an overlap and up. That's for the bottom, for the back leg. Then let's go here. I'm gonna imagine this belly coming across and getting tucked in behind that leg. Let's draw the behind first. So here, imagine the hog backside would come around like this. 
And then I'm going to reverse that curve and go to the back. Let's go to the front here, go like so. Draw the bottom of the foot. Again, drawing a hoof. Overlap out. I'm going in. In the back here, I'm just going to draw a little back, so like an L shape, just for the back of the heel. And I think that's pretty much it. There we have it. There's Hog Rider from Clash of Clans. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Please give it a like and we'll see you again soon.